ATG is a Michigan-based company. We understand the need for innovative tools that assist fleets, service providers, and original equipment manufacturers in reducing the potential for wheel separations from vehicles with hub-piloted wheel systems. Getting actively involved in the needs of the industry, we developed hard-working, American-made products. In this video, we will focus on the use of the 5-in-1 gauge, a multifunctional tool designed to heighten the inspection process of hub-piloted wheel end components. The 5-in-1 gauge for inspecting wheel end components. This gauge is designed to inspect hub pilot wheel systems to include M22 by 1.5 wheel studs, wheel nuts, and disc wheel bolt holes. Precision machined, coated to prevent rust and is not affected by day-to-day -day work environment. In the hands of a trained technician, the 5-in-1 gauge is designed to enhance current industry inspection methods and best practices. Warning, the use of heat on any wheel end component may cause property damage, injury, or death. Immediately replace any component that was heated in an attempt to separate the components. Follow all industry recommended practices and safety procedures. Warning, federal OSHA regulations require all employers to make sure their employees who service rims, wheels, and wheel ends Understand the safety information and procedures required. Do not let your employees service wheels, rims, and wheel ends unless they are thoroughly trained and completely understand all safety information and procedures. If you are a service technician, do not service rims, wheels, and wheel ends unless you are thoroughly trained and completely understand all safety information and procedures. Warning. Do not attach this tool to your ignition key ring. The weight may cause damage. The first function, inspecting studs for under diameter. Using the 5-in-1 gauge, inspect the stud for under diameter by inserting the gauge over the threaded end of the stud. The studs do not need to be removed from the hub for this if the stud enters the gauge more than the first four to five threads, replace it and contact the stud manufacturer for dimensional specifications. The second function, part of inspecting hub pilot wheel nuts. Inspecting for over diameter. With the key chain removed, insert the gauge into the bottom of the nut. The scribe line should not enter the threaded area of the nut, not the flange washer, but the threaded area. Remove any nut from service where the scribe line enters past the threads and contact the manufacturer for dimensional specifications. Number three, inspecting for bell mouthing. With the keychain already removed, begin by turning the gauge upside down inserting it into the top of the nut at the threads. The scribe line on the outside of the gauge should not enter the threaded area of the nut. Remove any nut from service where the gauge enters past the scribe line and contact the nut's manufacturer for dimensional specifications. Number four, inspecting disc wheel bolt holes for elongation or foreign material. Insert the five and one gauge into the bolt hole inspecting for elongation and foreign material. If elongation or distortion is found, replace the wheel. If foreign material is found, clean the wheel bolt holes. Number five, inspecting disc wheel bolt holes for diameter or size. Place the large end of the gauge on each bolt hole. It will not pass through if it meets SAE J694 or ISO 4107 for recommended sizing. It is possible to have larger bolt holes. If there's no elongation or distortion and the bolt holes are uniform in size, contact the manufacturer for dimensional specifications before returning the wheel to service. If, however, the bolt holes are not uniform in size, replace the wheel. ATG products include 
the 5 in 1 gauge ATG 9755, inspection tool for hub pilot wheel end components, and our anti indexing sleeves ATG 500, which is green, ATG 800, which is blue, and ATG 1250, which is silver, designed to prevent wheel movement or indexing while protecting the wheel studs and wheel bolt holes. These color-coded, free-floating, hardened sleeves slide over the M22 by 1.5 wheel stud to fill the air gap between the hub-piloted wheel and the stud. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions for optimum results. For more information on our tools and how to order, go to www.atgwheeltool.com. Special thanks to the Tantera Group for the use of their facility, equipment, and personnel, Wheel and Technologies, and A1 Video Professionals.